श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री गुरु नमस्ते they're doing some black magic attack and it's affecting me i'm scared my health is lost it's not this pertaining to that so satrubada is affecting people at the level of education like like i've come across people who had issues when it comes to their child study like you know they'll be doing uh, mbbs and you know in between their education they develop suicidal tendencies for no apparent reason not like any love affair or relationship or anything like that they just feel depressed for no reason so the negative forces inflicted upon them makes them feel like committing suicide so that is one thing second thing is that it affects the finances it blocks the finances so you are supposed to get salary for about 6 to 8 months and you have not got you worked hard for it but somebody has blocked your finances so for that reason your employer is not releasing your money health is one direct thing suddenly you are uh, you know all your good health everything is just gone to dogs and you start feeling sick for no reason you go to the doctor and the doctor says uh, all the reports look normal but you are not feeling good see this is how satrubada affects your different spheres some people are just scared all the time all that they want to uh, want the astrologer to confirm is yes you have satrubada yes you have somebody who is um, released a negative energy on you so what are all these things see and there are some people very strangely they want to get married but they have such a strong satrubada that their own relatives their own friends their well wishers the so called well wishers are not allowing good proposals to come by if it's an arranged marriage so what really happens is they say something negative out of jealousy and uh, evil eye and things like that and uh, even good prospects will say oh better not to go to that family you know maybe really something is wrong and then they give up like this shatrubala uh, shatrubadha affects all aspects of life all aspects you can't believe it mental health physical health financial health um, you know even relationships get spoiled like husband and wife end up fighting and you know always uh, there's no harmony at home so uh, no peace and harmony is really disturbed and um, you know relationship between husband and wife is not so um, intimate you know so that can create a rift between them in my earlier video i had warned you as to how you can be on guard like you know i probably had given you a few tips on how you should be very careful with your used clothes and nails and hair strands and things like that but in this video what i want to tell you is shatrubada can also make you mentally incompetent or mentally weak uh i'll cite an instance where you know you will be majorly affected by shatrubada but when you are getting a remedy done you will ask i hope it will not affect the people in a negative way uh, you know because i don't want anything negative to happen to them so you are so scared to take take up the cudgels to uh, be on guard to protect yourself against people who have harmed you so uh, what we do at pujas dot in is basically we offer solutions for shatrubada wherein we are not harming anybody to uh, you know who is harming us we are protecting ourselves from people uh, you know who want to harm us or who have already ca- caused some kind of harm you know what i mean to say is for example if somebody is hit you i'm not saying you hit back but you should be able to defend yourself so that he doesn't one thing is that you heal from the injury what he's hit you second thing is that next time he should not hit you you should be also uh, show yourself to be strong enough so these are the things that you know the mental makeup is required then only you will be able to do remedies so what are all these vidarshana havans pratyangira havan shatru samhar subramanya trishati havan or approaching the uh, village gods uh, or some for some people even their kula devatas like madurai viran and karpu sami they are all gods of justice you know if things are good if you are actually correct and if you have not made a mistake and somebody is really harming you for no reason and many times you don't know who is doing what you know people pretend to be friends and they suddenly become something else and you don't even know even they'll be smiling at you they'll be looking at you 
they'll be taking advantage of your goodness right royally left right and center and you'll still think they're good friends and they'll be actually behind your back and i know people who are suffering from uh, many years now unable to find a uh, way to come out and then they come to me and say i'm already suffering what do i do and they have evil spirits on them inside them uh, like living within them and they're in the house in their body and they just have no control over what's happening uh, they go on a frenzy mode you know it's very very sad to see uh, people like that suffer and especially their families suffer much more because they really don't know which god to go to which homa or haven to do which uh, deity to worship how do i get rid of this is one big big question mark so we always start with astrology consultation because that's where we know how weak your planets are or how strong that negative planets are negative planets are in the 6th house lord or the 8th house lord or the 12th house lord you see why what is happening why are you attracting this situation why is your family member attracting this situation what do you need to do to come out of it and whom to trust whom not to trust and when is a good time to do this because what happens is that you know once we are able to ascertain through the chart that yeah this is a good time to do the remedy this is when you know you do it you will get good results that's when we do it and uh, what happens when it's not a good time it's not like you endlessly wait for it but you make things to loosen up a bit so that you are not um, it's not a very challenging uh, phase for you to swim against the tide you are already swimming against the tide and if your dashas or your gochar is not favorable we will suggest remedies which will loosen things up a bit so that your um, swim is smooth your ride is smooth against the current that is how we work and uh, all these rituals what we are doing are so powerful they are time tested and you know what it, it gives you a lot of mental strength because shatrubhaga is very very um, It, I mean, you you just can't say how it affects you because it can affect you in the matters which will hit you the most, which is so important for you. Like for example, for parents, their children may be most important, and it may affect the children. And uh, for somebody, money matters and finances are priority, and it may hit them so hard that you know financially they are unable to recover. So health is something again. so you know it depends on each each of us we are all made differently our priorities are different although everything is important we will say no anything happens to me is fine nothing should happen to my child nothing should happen to my wife or husband you know those kind of mentalities we come up with uh, so if my health however bad it is it's okay i still need to earn you know these kind of compromises we keep doing i am saying shift your mindset why do you want to think like that you say you now who is the one who is doing all this you don't know but you, some of you may also know you may your business rivals may be doing it okay or you know family inheritance issues so uh, your own family members may be doing it it's okay but you should fight back fight back what i mean to say is not just like trying to inflict some black magic on them protect use the divine forces use the forces which are time tested through mantras and Uh, through yantras, through uh, various different kinds of pujas, rituals, you know, which are so powerful that you know when you do that, it scares scares your enemy, scares them so much that they will feel, yeah, okay, I think I should just step back and mind my own business, and I should not trouble this person anymore. Those kind of the fear factor that will generate in them. One thing. Second thing is also it will guard you. It will heal you completely. It will heal you, uh, body, mind, and soul. in such uh, in such a way that you know you feel rejuvenated you will recoup from the damage that has been caused and most importantly after you recoup what really happens is that you gain the strength to show that you are strong you can do it and you know you can't be affected you are not vulnerable anymore because you have divine protection now that is when uh, people will not take you for granted and they will step back and they will say no i, I shouldn't be doing this anymore now regarding the different kinds of um, um, attacks of shatrubhaga there is black magic there is casting spells and you know, using evil spirits and it's a, it's a different world it's a different dimension altogether now that is not this video is not about how dark that side is but this video is about how you can bring in light no matter what black magic what spell what drishti whatever has happened however it's affecting you don't worry about it how do you bring the divine element into your life 
how can you save yourself and your family how can you protect yourself from further damage caused or uh, from damages which are likely to happen in the future these are the things you need to see because what really happens is when people do black magic no they use evil spirits and things like that so pratas pishachas they use these forces and these forces like to keep you know uh, troubling people so it's like you know once they trouble you they go back and report to the master then the master sends them again and they need their flu uh, you know they need their food they need their some kind of an activity so they keep going back to the mantric uh, or tantric and they keep sending back so it's a back and forth thing which keeps happening so you remove black magic influence now again it may come back to you you get my point so it's like how do you stop this never ending story it's like you know every amavasya i have had clients who complained that you know you uh, the negativity got cleared you advised us we did this now again it's back this amavasya again we are attacked we feel we are attacked somebody has thrown something into our compound a house or you know something bad has happened and already we are feeling the negative effects of it so and suddenly there is fight in the house and you know quarrels and disharmony and things like that and there are people who would say like every uh, amavasya or apurnima that is new moon and full moon something is getting disturbed we don't know some energy is disturbing us so is this a never ending thing how do you strengthen yourself that is something that you need to do and you need to take refuge um, you know with the kind of forces which can handle this negativity the sometimes some forces like madhura viran and karpa sami they are kati we say the sword the in in tamil this all well, but uh, you know the, the sword itself is so powerful that uh, you see the refuge of the sword uh, the negative forces will get scared and then come closer to you now that is the kind of uh, energy you need to tap you need to take refuge of you need to seek their blessings and you need to do whatever is required for them to satisfy those gods to appease those gods and get their blessings so that is what is going to help So the same thing with uh, Shatil Samhara Subramanya Swami and Sudarshan Oma, they are so powerful that uh, you know each phase of Subramanya Swami is invoked for blessings through mantras and shlokas, and you do that because it has a lot of beads. Actually, as they are themselves like uh, arrows and bows, you just do that and then you are protected for life. So that is one thing. Second thing is uh, Sudarshan Oma. When you do that itself, is Vishnu is the you know eye. So it's like you seek the protection. We all know all many of the Puranic uh, episodes which have happened where gods have used these uh, ayudas or weapons and saved their uh, saved their devotees from enemies, from enemical forces. So you need to seek refuge of that. And time and again, be on guard. Keep monitoring what's really happening. Am I completely clear, or is it a lull before the storm? You need to be very watchful and on guard, and don't try to say that nothing should happen to my enemy. Usually, when you do these things, nothing happens because you're not casting a spell. You're not trying to uh, release an energy to go and harm somebody. The, what you're doing is only protecting yourself, removing the negativity which is inside you. You are taking a shower, you are taking a bath, you are taking a cleansing uh, therapy which will clean you of negativity. That's all. It is going to clean you of negativity and protect you, give you some kind of a protect. It's like a bulletproof vest that you know, so that next time somebody does something. it should not harm that is phase one second phase is when you say that you know you dare not harm me any more i am not vulnerable so you just can't do it so that is the kind of um, you know jo short mental will or some kind of a strength you need to say no you stay put don't even come closer that is the kind of strength you need to have and that can happen with some of the aggressive gods we call it so the aggressive gods or gods which uh, exhibit power See there are gods which exhibit um, satric uh, state of mind, like you know calm, soothing, peace, peaceful, tranquil state. There are gods which exhibit a tamasic state, like the Kali. You know, you, you have to really wake her up and then that's it. Uh, and there are also gods which will always be on the alert mode, rajasic mode, and you know they are the ones I'm saying, like who are ready to fight, who are ready to take up the cudgels for you because you have sought their refuge. Now that is the kind of a, a, you know, that is the kind of an effort you need to put, and you're going to surely get results. Don't give up so easily. Don't let others take you for granted. Don't be a victim of Shatrubada. It's very easy to complain and say, "Yeah, I'm suffering. I'm a victim. My family is a victim. He's suffering. He's suffering." 
there are so many blocks none of my activities are on the move or moving everything is in the pipeline everything is stuck everything is like you know blocked i don't know what to do it's very easy to go on complaining but what are you doing to get rid of the situation that is something that you need to think about and do it at the right time especially when you are advised to do something make every every effort to make it happen 100% you will be out of the situation you will be free and you can lead a normal life without being uh, conjured by a um, spirit without being bogged by somebody's negative energy uh, without being bogged by somebody's negative influence in whatever way even somebody is jealous of you and still they compliment you and say oh, wow you are looking beautiful your hair is so pretty I mean, such beautiful hair, long hair. I have seen people get a headache instantly. Instantly they feel that headache. And then you remove the drishti through their traditional means, like how your mother and grandmother would remove it. Then the next 10 minutes they are okay. That can be the extent to which, you know, you may be vulnerable. And people's nazar may be so bad, like, you know, their drishti or that the way they look at you may be bad. So, you need to be watchful, you need to be careful and most importantly not at all vulnerable. So do the right things for Shatru Vada, don't worry too much about anything else. These, these kind of remedies what I have recommended just now, they will not cause harm to others. They will only protect you, they will cleanse you, they will recoup and rejuvenate you and they will make you strong enough so that you are not vulnerable for further things. So you won't be a victim anymore. That is what this is all about. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you need further guidance, personalized guidance, you can always reach out to me.